It's just so stupid, and it's stressing me out that I can't even read these fucking comments. Just, just, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, we really doing this in 2018, huh? Bad news, bad. Yo, today is Thursday. It's wild out here, fam. It's wild. <laughs> What's poppin', fam? It's your boy Jay Sama. Uh, so today is not an episode of Canon Culture, but I had some Canon Culture shit to talk about today. So, uh, yo, man, the internet is wild today, bro. I gotta stay off of social media. This shit is crazy. Uh, so there's a situation going on with YouTube. Uh, there's some stuff going on on Instagram. People are wilding at Jaden Smith. Like, the president is tripping again. This shit mad stressful. So, all right, anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're not gonna be talking about all of that stuff today. We're gonna be talking specifically about YouTube. Now, if you guys haven't or don't follow me on social media, you probably should. So check this out. Uh, you team YouTube actually put out a tweet in response to uh, well some some guy that I've never fucking heard of but uh, he was talking about let me actually pull this tweet up let me do that so this originally came across my timeline because uh, Ethan uh, or h3h3 um, actually posted a screenshot of this guy who goes by at JPM 507. I, I don't know who that dude is. I don't bother doing research. I don't bother checking to see who it is, but obviously he's a content creator of some kind and I don't feel like doing any of my homework. But their response to his original tweet, which was, why aren't the videos in my subscription feed in chronological order anymore? Team YouTube responded, just to clarify, we are currently experimenting with how to show content in sub feeds. We find that some viewers are able to more easily find the videos they want to watch when they are ordered, when we order the sub feeds in a personalized order versus always showing most recent videos first. Now you see how this could be an issue which Ethan responds, the sub feed was the last place that was untouched by YouTube's optimization. Now YouTube can make, <laughs> now YouTube can make your content completely invisible, even to your own subscribers. Just wasting our time at team YouTube. Just erase the sub button already and show us what you want us to watch. <sighs> this is just, this is just crazy. And then, I, I, what, what really blew my mind was Keemstar jumping in and Keemstar resp like retweeting this and saying, I've never been so scared at Team YouTube. You are forcing us to build our other social media platforms to inform our fans of our YouTube videos because sub boxes don't work and are becoming unreliable. I hate the way this man tweets. This shit just doesn't even, like verbatim, doesn't even make any sense. At what point do we just start posting on other social platforms? And what stresses me out, right? Cause as I'm reading all this out loud, it's stressing me out. Colossal is crazy, who is another content creator on YouTube who I actually am aware of, uh, responded, you can't rely on social media either because on a daily basis, Twitter is shutting people down for all seemingly, I hate the way these people tweet. Someone gets shut down on Twitter every day for no reason. Twitch is biased and the political correctness required is crazy. Facebook is corrupt and being operated by a cyborg. I'd say everyone is pretty much fucked to be fair. Now, this is where my opinion comes in. This is just, this is just me throwing my opinion out there. Uh, and there was actually another guy who responded to that and he said, YouTube needs, it's just so stupid and it's stressing me out that I can't even read these fucking comments because one, one fucking guy who doesn't even, doesn't even make videos, just some random fucking idiot. Just remember the sooner you do, the sooner you'll, you'll, they'll start listening right now. They're gonna do whatever it is that they want without consequence because they think they can. Show them that they can't and just watch how fast things change. To which he responded to his own tweet 
This guy has his head so far up his ass. YouTube needs the content creators. They're the ones bringing in the clicks and when those clicks stop coming, they'll do whatever it takes to get them back. This is the dumbest fucking comment. This Billy Red Snake Shears. Bro, you have the dumbest fucking idea. You're, you're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot and you have no idea what the fuck is going on. You really don't. Like, I have such a headache right now just reading all these fucking tweets and comments that just don't make any fucking sense. So, to start on one and then move to the other. Uh, Ethan is absolutely right. At this point, they can just abuse what is in the sub feed and what is not in the sub feed. How would you be able to determine what it is that your audience wants from your platform if you're just trying shit out and then the amount of negative comments on this original tweet the amount of negative comments because i went and i found this tweet and it's literally just hundreds of comments of people just going no we do not want this we do not want this we do not want this this is not something that's interesting to us no keep it chronological Un like not having it chronological doesn't make any sense which Honestly, to me, if your sub feed is not in chronological order, what type of order is it in? Is it in order of relevance? Because what about the sub people that I'm subbed to with only 300 subscribers compared to the people that I'm subscribed to with a million and they put out one video, does that bury the one with 300 subs? Like, what if I'm more interested in this? Like, I, I just don't, don't understand. So they make it difficult to not only watch things in the sub feed, but even when you have notifications, those don't particularly work. And then you have idiots like this who just kind of mouth off thinking that they know what the fuck work. Let me tell you, Billy Redskin Shears, let me tell you how YouTube doesn't need legitimate content creators. You know why? Because they have Will Smith now, they have Kevin Hart, they have Taylor Swift, they have all these mainstream large profile celebrities that bring in clicks. Why the fuck do you need average Joes to make videos anymore when you have people who are safe for work, you have people who are safe for advertisers, and they're already bringing their own set of popularity to the platform. So what the fuck do you need YouTubers for? But the problem with that is we're just allowing YouTube to dick us down because where are we gonna go? There is no platform like YouTube. There is no platform that is as big as YouTube. Why the fuck you think VidMe was a piece of shit? Let me just remind people that VidMe was filled with nothing but frustrated content creators who just wanted to create content. But if you have people doing nothing but creating content and your audience is nothing but content creators and they don't wanna watch anything because they're too busy trying to create content because they're frustrated because they're not making it on YouTube. You see where the fucking cycle would kind of fuck you in the ass here. So really, I don't I don't know what's going on with the world, but I just had some shit to get off my chest today. I just really did. And I just felt like this was the platform for me to do it because I'm still getting views right now. So I just want to know, what do you guys think down in the comment section? What what are we supposed to do? Because uh the amount of of bullshittery that goes on on Instagram, the amount of bullshittery that goes on on Twitter from time to time. Uh, Twitch is extremely biased if you don't have tits. Uh, YouTube just don't fuck with nobody. YouTube just don't give a fuck, bro. Uh, Facebook, obviously, I mean, paying for clicks. So, you know, there's that. It's just where are you supposed to go? Everything is just the wild west out here. I'm just, I'm just real confused. I'm just real, real confused. But, you know, this is just me kind of venting and really like letting you guys know what the fuck is going on today. Happy Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but to give one more point, uh, I just, I don't know where the idea would come that we're going to be able to do anything about this. So it's very interesting. It's very, very interesting because as I look and I see all these issues with YouTube and I see what's going on, I don't think they want genuine creators on their platform anymore. I just I just think they don't I don't think they I don't think they want actual creators they're too much of a liability uh, it's easy as much as YouTube is worth and as much you money as YouTube has which I assume is gonna be a lot 
They would have to pay content creators like Kevin Hart and The Rock and Will Smith a lot less compared to the millions of other creators. Not even millions. There's probably only good a, a good couple hundred thousand actual creators on the platform. Like actual creators like that are constantly making content. Um, they don't need them no more. They could just demonetize everything and if you're not a verified celebrity if you don't have any type of verification we don't have to pay you like could you imagine that being youtube's new statute of like you can monetize now you can monetize if you're verified you can't get verified till you're at at least a hundred thousand and by a hundred thousand i mean there's not that many people on the platform within a hundred thousand you know what i mean like going up Everybody below 100,000 is not really worth it. So you don't have to monetize them. You don't have to. For what? You're not you're not verified. I don't have to. Like you're not making me any money. I got movie stars on my platform. The fuck I need you for? You're under 100,000. What are you bringing me? So, I mean, it's just an idea. It's just a thing. So, you know, that's probably where it's going to head up next. So, uh, I need more subscribers, guys. I'm trying to hit 100k. I'm trying to hit 100k. I need it. <laughs> I need 100,000. So anyway, this has been your boy Jay Sama. I'm, I'm gonna catch you guys later. I got a whole lot of shit to do, man. I'm stressed the fuck out today. God damn.